Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia, and today I'm going to show you how to make these awesome coasters made out of recycled denim jeans. They are super easy to, make, easy to make, and I just think they're great. And they're a great way to use up some old stuff that uh, might end up in the landfill if you didn't do it, something with them. So why don't we get started? You're going to need lots and lots of denim scraps. We go through jeans, we, we wear them out and they're not nice to donate, so we go ahead and I just love I have a stack of jeans in my quilting room all different shapes and sizes you don't want anything too thick this is about as thick as you want because these are small coasters they're five by five cut them in you're gonna need short strips long strips and you can use the fronts and the backs of it you can use the stretchy jean material whatever you want I like some of the dark ones I like using the different colors just I think it has a lot of interest to the project you're gonna need low loft batting you do not want to use high loft, it's too puffy for this project. And you're gonna cut a square, maybe seven by seven. It does not have to be perfect because you're gonna be cutting out a smaller shape. And then you need a larger piece of denim for the back. And again, seven by seven, eight by eight. And you can see it's not perfect because we're gonna be cutting that shape out later. So, I know, and you are gonna need also, if you have it, a quilting ruler that'll give you that five by five shape. If not, you can use a regular ruler and sketch around it. If you have a cutting board with a rotary cutter, that's even better because you can cut out your five inch square. But this can easily be done if you measure out a five inch square and then trace around it and you can cut it out with good scissors. And you will need good heavy duty fabric scissors because denim is hard to cut through. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have your center piece. Oh, we'll do the light one on this one. And you're gonna have a piece about the same size and you're gonna, hopefully you can see this okay, you're gonna overlap it about a quarter inch to a half an inch, half an inch is a little too much, maybe I'd say a, quarter, a good quarter inch, and you're gonna sew down right there as close to the edge as possible. This is like raw edge quilting, so it makes it really easy. It's like a quilt as you go, but with raw edges. And you're gonna start I'll show you how. You can use any color thread you want. It might be sort of fun to use an offsetting color. You can see the white thread there. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. And you're gonna snip off the threads as you go because it gets really messy. And you can see how I caught about a quarter of an inch of the one beneath it and this one goes on top. Don't forget the back threads. And then we are gonna get another piece let me try this, that's sort of pretty. A little bit dark, we could also use the back, it might be nice, we'll use the back side of that one. And you're gonna line it up like so. You wanna line up the edge here, and you're gonna line up the edge here. Now you can see how this overhangs. So you're gonna take your scissors, and just without getting the batting or the back fabric, you're just gonna run them underneath and just cut that off. So it's about, about equal length. Um, does again does not have to be perfect and you're gonna sew that down snip off the edges and you can see how that's gonna go and you're just gonna keep working your way around and you see I only sew from there to there, and there how I caught the other fabrics behind it. Smooth it out as you do it so it keeps a nice flat surface. Just keep adding fabric, the fabric's gonna get longer and longer until you get to about here. And it, you might wanna check your measurement because this is not a five inches yet. We're getting close, but not quite. So we will add one more piece here. I'll do the back on that one. It doesn't even have to be even edges. And again, I'm gonna cut that off so it's about the same. I really love this project. I mean, these can be made in, you know, you can make one of these in about 10 minutes tops, maybe 15, without the binding. The binding takes a little longer. So I think we're gonna add one more here. Like 
so. Use a heavy duty needle on this because you're sewing through denim. And you don't want to break a nice, if you have a really good, you know, a fine sewing needle, you don't want to use that. Just trim that off. All right. So this is about five inches. You can get a five inch square out of this um, very easily. You would take this over to your cutting board or trace around this five inches and then cut out the square. So you end up with something like this. This is perfect and it's ready to be bound. Now I use the old fashioned binding method where I use, I chose this offsetting scrap of uh, thread fabric I had. I cut about a 20, 25 to 30 inch strip of, it's two and a half inches wide, 30 inches long. I fold it in half, press it sharply, and on one end I fold over under the edge. So you're gonna have a nice clean edge there. And you're gonna start doing your binding. You're gonna do this bind it. It's a little tricky to bind and again I use the old-fashioned method. You can bind it however you'd like. You're gonna start sewing at the pin. You want to leave that there because when the the binding comes all the way around you're gonna slip that in there so you have a nice clean edge. And I'm just gonna do one corner for you really quickly. Always back stitch when you start and end on binding because uh, it needs to be nice and solid. going to do is you're going to sew over to and give yourself, let me show you, about a quarter inch from the edge. You can see I eyeball it. A lot of people measure it. Um, there are lots of YouTube videos out there on how to bind. I just, this is the method I use. Then you backstitch there, you cut your thread, then you're going to fold your binding over here, 45 degree angle. Fold it back like this, fold it down, and then I use a little marker, and again, I eyeball it. You don't have to eyeball it. You can measure it, I'm trying to meet, match up precisely where you ended that other stitch, and you're going to feed it through your sewing machine. Keep going around doing that same thing all the way around. You can see there I back stitch and you're just, you, so it's going to end up looking like this. And you end up looking like this all the way around. And then you're ready to hand stitch it down. Or if you want, you can machine bind it. You can see here where I ended up, where I slipped that raw edge under the turned over edge and then finished sewing it off right in there. Again, back stitching everywhere. Flip everything over to the back side. I like to hand stitch. It's like great to sit there and watch TV and do it. It's up to you. And it ends up looking like this. I used white thread here just so you, hopefully you can see it. I don't know if you can, but try to match up your thread. It's really easy to do. And you end up with this awesome coaster made out of denim, recycled denim blue jeans. Great, easy afternoon project. Thanks for watching.